going on everybody? Rings is bringing my updated stamina dragon I build for the Hailstrom patch. Uh, this is probably what I'm going to be running for the upcoming patch of Greymore too. But there's going to be a lot of sets, the new sets that's coming out like stun and stuff that I'm going to be testing as well. But this is probably what I'm going to stick with after I test them and see if, you know, which one's better for me and my playstyle. But this is what I've been running from the Hailstrom patch. Let's go ahead and get into the buff stat sheet, you know, with continuous and stuff. So like 6.2 weapon damage, 2200 stand recovery, 27k stand, 25k max health, pretty much whatever. But this is still unbuffed, okay? So, and I'll go ahead and put the buffed up stat sheets, front bar and back bar both. Uh, I'll go ahead and put them up right now. Because with this build, <clears throat> it gives you the option to have a fuck ton of damage. Okay, so let's just go ahead and hop into the gear. I know that's what everybody wants to see anyway. So we are running New Moon. I mean, it's it's a huge set. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't use it. Uh, we, we front bar this set, and I choose the Maul because the Maul, like, everybody is just so tanky and the damage mitigation is so high this patch that I just feel like the Maul outperforms the damage from a sword. I mean, the 5% damage from a sword is just not even that big of a deal. Potentates, back bar, sword and board. One, I prefer sword and board for the block and then extra mitigation you get for sh sword and shield and stuff but if I had black rose dual wield I'll, I would definitely use it mainly because I mean the damage mitigation this just is 5% and I think black rose gives a fuck ton more than that but I don't have it so we're gonna go with the sword and shield of potentates uh, the enchant for the front bar is just weapon damage I mean I just feel like you have better use out of it being on your front bar than your back bar because you're not light weaving in your back bar that much. It's just for tanking and survivability. And I just use, uh, you know, there's double dot poisons. I mean, you could run a shock whiff here if you really wanted to, but I mean, it's completely up to you. Now, as far as the gear is concerned, blood spawn, I know it's catching a, a relatively, a little bit of a nerf next patch, but I don't think it's going to be enough to make it unviable. I still think it's going to be really good for stam DK, mainly because the ult gen and the extra resistances that you get, and the stam recovery is really nice too. Now for the body, I am using the Moon Curse. Uh, I'm running too heavy, 5 medium. Uh, I would run 511, but with this build it's not really that viable. You just can't do it. Uh, and still have 5 medium. Um, now as far as uh, the other gear that I'm using is Titanborn. I don't know if you guys have heard of this set or not, but it is really strong. I mean, it's basically just like New Moon, except for when you're Xing, it's a lot better. I mean, at the 5 piece, it's 107 weapon damage and 1200 pin all the time. And then if you get weapon damage and 2.4k pin. And then if you get below 50%, you get 430 weapon damage and 5k pin. That's huge. 5k pin plus the pin from Noxious and everything else and the mall we're looking at like right at 20k pin that's huge that's huge now as far as the jewelry um, I would have ran Titanborn here but I, I just could not get the necklace I, I, I farmed it for a couple hours and I just could not luck up and get the necklace so I just crafted a new moon necklace and just mid maxed it from there with the two two heavy, the heavy head and the heavy chest for the same amount of resistances as you would as running a chest and legs. Um, but uh, there's that. We are using infused weapon damage glyphs for this. Now, as far as the food and the pots and stuff that we're running, we are running Lava Foot. <coughs> now, with this build where there's nothing that gives you max health, um, I, 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 I did run all health and chance. On, on the gear I just you don't really need the max stam and max stam doesn't even help as much as the survivability from max health would be okay now say if you didn't want to run lava foot for the extra recovery I mean you could always run Arteum I mean it's really good you're just gonna have a lot less sustain um, you'll have like 28k max health maybe a little bit more but you'll have like less stam and less recovery by by quite a bit now as far as um, potions you know like always I mean I, I pretty much use tri stats on almost every build that I have but with this I, I mean you could probably run speed immovables or just regular health immovables um, just just whichever types of pots it really doesn't even matter now as far as my race I am a dark elf and the reason I'm a dark elf is for a few reasons 
Uh, I think Dark Elf is a good race, no matter which which race or you know class you you play. And that's why I went Dark Elf is because I could play Mag DK and Stam DK, and and it's still really good. I mean, you you get Max Mag and Max Stam, which helps your your Max Mag pulls, so you can use all your Mag buffs. And trust me, with this with this build, you you will be using Fragmented Shield a lot for the extra heal. Plus, you get weapon damage, so I mean, you, you can't go wrong with that. It's, I mean, it's 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 huge. I mean, a lot of people really sleep on on Dark Elf. But I think it's a good choice. I mean, or it's a good choice for the ult gain and extra resistances, or it's a good choice for the extra damage and you know speed. Uh, Wood Elf is a good choice for the extra recovery and extra pin and stuff. I mean, they're they're all really good choices, and I mean it's it's hard to really go wrong with a particular type of race. But this is just what I prefer, so I could play both. You know, we do have Undaunted, we do have Sigic, back bar for the extra mitigation and stuff. Um, you know, obviously alchemy passes. So let's just go ahead and hop into the CP. And you know, like always, you guys can speed this up or slow it down if you need to. Uh, this is just what I prefer to run. Everybody has different preferences. I mean, everybody has a CP setup that they they prefer to run. This is just what works for me. So we got 61 Warlord, 16 Sprinting, Sprinter, sorry, one in the Siphoner. And the only reason we run one in the Siphoner here is because of the debuff that shows up and they have to purify it. I mean it doesn't even do anything to their resources. It's just one more thing that they have to purify. It just counts towards the, the things that they purify is the only reason. Now as far as the middle tree, it'd be 37 tenacity, 64 mooncalf. Now a lot of people that I know they, they choose to put 20 more into this tree somewhere and get the windrunner passive. I mean it's nice and all, it's just two percent movement speed and Mag recovery is not that huge for me, and where I'm a vampire, it's health recovery doesn't affect me any. So, um, now as far as the green tree, I know this isn't min max, but I don't have anywhere to put this extra point here. But we are running 35 shadow ward and 56 into tumbling. Now for the first blue tree, we are running 27 blessed. Um, a lot of builds I use 24 blessed. It's just I feel like you're better off with the extra 1% healing than you are for a couple more pin. Uh, 81 Mastered Arms, and I mean, I know this is pretty much what everybody runs in the Mastered Arms, but this this right here, where you're on Sword and Board, is huge. You can time this block and hopefully get lucky with a repost. I mean, I've, I've hit people for fucking 9k reposts in the past little bit, and it's actually huge for exiting. Um, now, as far as the last blue tree, uh, 61 Precise Strikes, 37 Piercing, and 64 Mighty. Um... I know a lot of people that run a lot more into ironclad and more into resistant, but I feel like I have more damage mitigation from putting some into medium armor focus and spell shield than I do from resistant and ironclad. I mean, 2.6k physical resist, I mean everybody now is pretty much playing a stand build or a stand crow or whatever that everybody's running around with, the majority of them are stand builds. So I don't really run into mag builds that often and when I do they, they don't really hit that hard anyway because they they've all been nerfed into the dirt. So I do put more into medium armor focus for the physical resist than I would anything else. I mean, one percent damage mitigation right here is a lot less than the damage mitigation you get for 2.6k resist. Period. As far as the middle tree, I'm running 49, 49 LE defender and then 23 thick skin just to get the unchained passive, which is huge for Xing. I'm sure everybody already knows this, but it is what it is. And then two in the bastion, just two extra points that I had left over. Now we are using the Warrior Mundus, and we are a vamp. Again, the only reason I'm a vamp, which other than the 10% recovery right now until the patch, is kind of cool and all. But the only reason I'm a vamp is because my mag DK was a vamp, and I've just never gotten rid of it. Now this upcoming patch, there's going to be a lot of changes to Vampire. So I mean, unless somebody can make it work with Misform. And other things, and you know some of the buffs that were the, the new skills that we're going to be getting. I'll, I'll test it out and see. But for the increased cost for vamp on your non-vampire abilities, I think is going to be a big hurt for sustain. So we'll just have to see see where that takes us and see how it goes. Uh, so I probably will not be a vamp. I mean, just depending. Um, that pretty much covers everything about the build overall. Uh, oh, I forgot. I am running ten into health. Ten into healthy right here because of the low max health I mean health health is super important 
because everybody hits so fucking hard this patch that if you have less than 23k health pool you're just gonna get digged down <clears throat> you know a lot of builds in Cyrodiil for whatever reason they're all running 35k plus health and I don't even know how they do it it, it hurts me to have less than 30k stand but there's really no reason to have such a high stand pool anymore okay I think that covers absolutely everything in the video and you know if I miss anything you guys are more than welcome to drop it down in the comment section and I'll, I'll try to make sure to answer all of your questions and stuff um, you know like always I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope everybody's doing good, staying safe in a world of chaos. And, uh, you know, like always, the, the YouTube spill, like, comment, subscribe. You know, there's going to be plenty of builds coming out from the future for my channel. I mean, I always have, that's pretty much been a huge staple of my channel is, is builds and stuff, and build diversity. A lot of people are running New Moon and Fury right now, and I mean, it's really strong, but I think Titanborn is stronger. Now. Give that notification bell some love too if you're sub because it lets you know anytime that I upload a video. Drop your thoughts about the build down there in the comment section. I mean, your guys' feedback is super important to the diversity and the builds. I mean, everything that has to do with my channel. I mean, I put your guys' opinions over pretty much everybody else's. I mean, and if you do try the build, let me know. I mean, I want to know how it performs for you. That way I can make some changes or, you know, post some suggestions, feedbacks, whatever. Anyway. Till next time guys, peace.